but we now have a fourth center also and that is the aerodynamic center or the AC as we call it. So, what is this AC? AC is basically a theoretical point ok, it is not a practical point, it is a theoretical point such that the effect of angle of attack or the effect of the aerodynamic moment on the angle of attack is removed. So, the aerodynamic moment remains same at all angle of attack about the aerodynamic center. Center of pressure moves, generally it moves back ok. If you have a flight which is supersonic, it may even move forward because it is a function of pressure distribution. But now we are not bothered. Whatever be the pressure distribution, there is some lift, there is some drag, there is some moment. So, the moment does not change about the aerodynamic center. So, at all angle of attack, you have the same moment. So, that is the beauty of this theoretical center called as the aerodynamic center. Interestingly, if you take a flat plate or a very thin aerofoil, the approximate location of this particular place, theoretical place is one fourth of the chord. So, if you want to do a very quick and simple design and if you want the aircraft to fly, you should try to adjust your center of gravity near the quarter chord of the wing because that is where the aerodynamic center is. Now, I will show you how to decide the exact location ok. So, we will take a toy plane, I will be, do, be doing I will be doing two experiments in the class. One is not an experiment, but a demonstration using only sketches a toy plane. So, these are basically figures taken from a textbook and this textbook by the way, a very interesting textbook by Professor Eberhardt and Anderson. Professor Eberhardt was a visiting professor in our department for one semester in 2011. He worked uh, in the Boeing company for many years and then he joined Washington University and then he now travels all over the world taking up assignments as a visiting professor. So, he has he was in Spain, he was in Australia, so now he has gone to some other location ok. He has written a very nice book along with D. F. Anderson, this is not the same Anderson that you know, this is some other Anderson. So, Anderson and Eberhardt, one of the best books to understand the basics of flight. In my opinion, even far better than Anderson. Available online just by a simple Google search, copies are available. In fact, I have an autographed copy also by Professor Eberhardt, but we have in our departmental library as well as in the main library. I recommend all of you to go through this book and I borrowed this particular uh, example from his textbook using a toy plane. So, here is a toy plane. Now, this toy plane assume that through some magic, I am throwing it in the air and it is in equilibrium at some condition ok. And now, some disturbance acts on it because of atmospheric disturbances whatever and there is a nose up pitching moment. But before we go ahead, let us first look at the forces acting on this aircraft. So, as we see the point marked by cross is the neutral point. How do you find it? You cannot find it it is not easy to find it, but it is there. In this example, as is typically the case, the lift of the wings acts slightly ahead of the neutral point, the center of gravity is far ahead ok. So, the center of gravity is far ahead of the neutral point. Now, what will happen tell me, oh, so what tell me why do we have the tail loads and the uh, in the way it is shown. So, take moments about center of gravity, lift alone is going to give you a nose down pitching moment, but I said the aircraft is in equilibrium. Therefore, 
the tail has to carry a down load. Now, why is the load on the tail much smaller? Because it is far away from CG. It is the moment that is important, not the force. Because we are trying to take moments about CG. So, this aircraft will fly in a trimmed condition only when the moments about CG are 0. So, in this condition, the lift force into that distance is equal to and opposite to the tail force and the tail distance of the tail uh, aerodynamic center from the center of gravity. So, something like LW into XW equal to LT into XT and there is no net moment. So, therefore, about center of gravity you have some net lift which is the brown vertical line which is the lift of the wing minus tail and the total weight of the aircraft is W. They are both equal, balance, opposite and hence this aircraft is in trimmed horizontal flight. Now, for some reason there is a perturbation in the flight because of which the angle of attack increases. So, what will happen as the alpha increases and if the alpha is below alpha stall, then the lift will increase. So, as the angle of attack increases, the lift is going to increase. So, the nose down pitching moment is going to be created because of the delta L. But what will happen to the angle of attack of the tail? If the aircraft was at some angle in trimmed condition and the tail had negative load, that means tail was deflected little bit down and now the alpha is increased, what is going to be the angle of attack of the tail? It is going to decrease little bit. So, if it decreases, its lift will not remain the same. Therefore, the tail down moment created by the tail will be lower than the nose down moment created by the wing. So, we disturb the aircraft, we created a angle of attack which means the nose went up, but the nose will come down because the nose down moment is more than the tail down moment. So, what can you say about this aircraft? This is positively stable or stable, but we can only comment upon the static stability. We do not know what will happen in the end, but at least the tendency is to come down. In other words, when the center of gravity is ahead of the neutral point, then we have a situation when the aircraft is stable. Now, one more question I want to ask you. Suppose I move the center of gravity further by adding a weight in the nose. Now, what will happen to the aircraft? Will it become more stable or less stable? Who will answer this question? More stable, less stable, none of the above, unstable, I do not care. Kya hai? I do not want to hear I do not care. So, tell me, will it become more stable or less stable? More stable? Why will it become more stable? Because the nose down movement will be further. But remember, even the tail also will have a longer tail arm. But the numerical value of the lift is far more than the tail. So, if you give more moment arm, larger force with that delta x will give you more moment than a smaller force with that delta x. Agreed? Manikandan not happy? Okay. So, if you move CG forward, it will be more stable and more stable and more stable. Correct? Okay. Let us see now when CG is moved behind and it is at neutral point. It is at neutral point now. 
So, when the CG is the antiputral point, the wing is still such that its lift will be acting slightly ahead of the CG. Now, it is ahead of the CG because the location of the lift on the wing is a function of the wing geometry and the wing location. We have not changed the wing location. I did not move the wing behind, I just moved the CG behind. So, the wing lift will now give you a nose up moment and the tail has to have upload to cancel that. Because I am saying that the aircraft is flying in a steady level flight even in this condition. So, when the CG is at NP and the aircraft is still in a stable flight. Now, the position of radon weak center does not depend upon angle of attack. Okay, so, it remains the same place. So, as the angle of attack increases, lift on the wing will go up, but the tail lift will also increase and because it is neutral is because uh, the two moments are going to balance your CG is at neutral point. Therefore, there will be no restoring torque. So, therefore, this aircraft is neutrally stable because the moments are balanced. As alpha increases, it increases both for tail and for the wing. Okay. Now, let us look at the situation when the CG is behind neutral point. So, now when the nose pitches up, the increase in the lift on the wing will be more than that on the tail. You have to tell me why. Why will the delta L wing be more than delta L tail? Both will increase because alpha has increased. But why is it so that change in the lift of the wing is more than the change in the lift of the tail? Let me give you a hint. Suppose we assume the same aerofoil for both because aerofoils can be different. So, just to remove that confusion, both have the same aerofoil. Therefore, the DCL by D alpha is same change in the CL with change in the angle of attack is same. So, it is not because of any change in the lift coefficient. What is the reason? Because the surface area of the wing is more. Okay. I would like to hear not surface area, but reference area. Yeah. Yes, that is one reason. Wing is larger in size. Reference area is larger. Any other? Any other reason? Take a theoretical case when both have the same surface area. Still, I will say wing has going to, going to have more. The reason is actually the aspect ratio of the tail is normally kept lower than that of the wing. And because of that also you will get higher lift. Fine. So, when you have larger lift from the wing, then the nose will pitch up further. So, now you will not have restoring moment, you will actually have imbalance moment. The nose of the aircraft has gone up, it will tend to go up and tend to go up and tend to go up. So, therefore, the aircraft is unstable. So, it is very straightforward. The relative location of the center of gravity and the neutral point is what decides the stability in longitudinal direction. If CG is ahead of neutral point, the aircraft is stable. At neutral point, neutrally stable. Behind neutral point, unstable. The farther behind, more unstable. The farther ahead, more stable. Okay. But we forgot there is another position that the third center is there. Yes, you have a question. Neutral point is a theoretical point. Okay. It is difficult to explain it as a physical quantity like center of gravity we say oh where the net weight acts. 
so it has a physical significance center of pressure that is the physical significance that is the center of the pressure which acts but aerodynamic center and neutral points do not have any physical significance these are some theoretical points okay so you you can just assume that there is a point called as neutral point its location depends on the geometry of the aircraft such that if the cgs is at ahead of that point the aircraft is laterally dynamically sorry uh, longitudinally stable if the cg is behind it is unstable if the cg is exactly there it is neutrally stable this is how you define neutral point okay there is no other significance similarly aerodynamic center is a theoretical point at which the moments are going to be the same at any angle of attack lift and drag forces will change yes it is a location on the aircraft but you cannot say you can calculate it in this manner cg you can calculate you can say take any point take moments ahead take moments behind if this is more move 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 till moments are equal but aerodynamic center and neutral point are not such quantities they are derived quantities okay is it answer your question no no that is not the reason the reason is the third one which i am going to come now the aircraft is stable depending on the relative location of the cg and neutral point cg ahead stable cg behind unstable but it assumes that the aerodynamic center is between between the cg and neutral point if the aerodynamic center is ahead of cg or behind neutral point the things go haywire so that is why we need to now look at the location of the aerodynamic center also okay so the first one is cg ahead of neutral point and ahead of aerodynamic center that is the point which i have circled okay now location of center of gravity of the aircraft by the way this is not about wing center of gravity huh? this is the aircraft center of gravity interesting point so typically the center of gravity of the aircraft lies somewhere on the wing okay it will be rarely a situation when the center of gravity of the aircraft is behind the wing and ahead of the wing it's on the wing somewhere so what we do is the center of gravity location when i say when i say cg location i am talking only about longitudinal all our discussion is only about longitudinal no lateral and no roll right now so the longitudinal cg location of the aircraft is somewhere on the wing so normally we express it in terms of the percentage of a term called as the mean aerodynamic chord what is a chord you know chord is the distance between the nose radius and the tail radius correct or the tail junction but the wing is not always of the same chord the chord can reduce it may even increase there are aircraft in which the chord at the center of the wing is less than at the tips have you seen such an aircraft okay there are so why don't you locate and put on moodle picture of an aircraft in which the root chord is less than the tip chord and not just search explain why is there an advantage of doing that because nobody will build an aircraft with a configuration unless there is some advantage so this is a interesting assignment find out aircraft where the tip chord is more than the root chord and explain the reason and why don't we see it very often why do we typically see that the tip chord is equal to root chord or less than the root chord okay so therefore in general the chord changes along the span so therefore we define one particular chord called as a mean aerodynamic chord it is not a geometric mean but it's a aerodynamic mean there is a formula now that goes into aerodynamics we will not get into that assume that there is some way to calculate the mean aerodynamic chord so the center of gravity of the aircraft is going to locate along the mean aerodynamic chord at some location 
so we normally call it as percentage of mac 5% 10% 15% 20% please understand the mean aerodynamic chord may be larger than the chord at the root or smaller we don't know so this is just a illustration so to avoid confusion assume that the aircraft has got the same chord throughout a rectangular wing no confusion now the mac is equal to the c at the root so the cg will be located at some position we measure it in terms of the percentage of the mac so there are some examples here 5% 25% 35% 40% 45% okay and we want to see what happens so the first one is if the aerodynamic center which is typically at quarter chord not always but typically at quarter chord and if the cg is at 5% of the mac then the aircraft is very very stable because the cg is far ahead of the aerodynamic center neutral point is behind we don't know where it is right now but aerodynamic center also it is far ahead so this condition is a condition where you have a saucer and a steel ball exactly as a center highly stable okay undesirable not desirable then we have cg at aerodynamic center so progressively we will move the cg behind first was 5% now cg is at 25% it is above aerodynamic center or at aerodynamic center neutral point is behind in this example neutral point is at 35% of mac just happens to be you don't know how to calculate it it happens to be so what will happen now will the aircraft be stable unstable neutrally stable stable sure it is stable why is it stable because i had a neutral point that's it it is stable and this my friends is a very desirable location for the cg of your aircraft approximately quarter chord okay let's move it behind the aircraft moves behind aerodynamic center but still ahead of aerodynamic uh, still ahead of neutral point the aircraft is stable because np is still behind but the level of stability is now reducing because you are moving towards neutral point the moment you go behind aerodynamic center your cg is going to be uh, your stability is going to be less for you and your glider it's a undesirable condition your glider will still fly but not fly well it is less stable but still stable but less stable now let's say take the cg behind ac behind ac at neutral point it will be neutrally stable now this is the most rear position of cg which is acceptable for flight i would say we don't want to go so back in a practical aircraft we never fly at neutral point or even near it we are sufficiently ahead of it but behind this is disaster okay ahead of this is better best will be at aerodynamic center but here it is neutrally stable once you go behind then you are unstable okay all right now this was a theoretical exercise so this is in summary the position 